Hello, collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. You are appreciated. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energy and intent immediately and permanently. I dismantle all negative and evil plans of the enemies against you and your families immediately as well. Anything the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. So we have someone here that's making some type of wish or they want to have wish fulfillment with you. Someone may be distancing them themselves from a family down. Um, there is an entire group watching you in some way, shape, or form. They're keeping track of you. This could very much be a coding that's watching you. Uh, just some type of toxic group, okay? They just... They don't know how to let go. Collective, you know our energy is addictive. People get a smidge out of it and then they can, you know, resist. They have to have more. So there's someone in this group or this group as a whole, honey. They are addicted to your energy. They know they need to walk away, but they don't know how to walk away because they're so karmic. <laughs> this is so sad. It is so sad. It's like these people know they didn't need to leave you alone, but for some reason, they're so karmic. They're set on defeating you, but they're not going to be able to. These people are being kept out of your energy for a reason. Their biggest wish is to be in your energy without something bad happening to them. Because people like these, there's some type of karmic karma for them messing with you. So they know they can't exactly come into your direct space come towards you something of that nature but they're very much determined when it comes to defeating you okay someone wants to have wish fulfillment but right now you're like mm, i don't want nothing to do with you or your group your family whatever it is you're like mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. that is not passing the vibe check for me i don't want nothing to do with that it does not seem high vibrational it seems like if i partake of this I'm going to be falling from grace. I'm going to lose my protection um, from the universe. Source is going to be, you know, teaching me a lesson. Like, oh, okay, so that's the route you want to take now? <laughs> Go ahead, child. Go ahead. Do as you want. We told you already that that is not where you need to be. You are supposed to be abundant in life, but here it is. You want to be part of a karmic group. I'm telling you, this is a karmic group. They're fighting amongst themselves. I hope you can see this card with the different setup. I'm not able to peek and see if you guys can see my cards anymore. So I'm just trusting that you can see it. Maybe I can hold it this way, okay? But these people are fighting amongst themselves. This is an entire family. This is not just a couple, right? It may have started off with a couple coming after you, and it does not mean that they were intimate. It could just be partners in crime. Uh, they will come up in, this, in a reading as the same, right, as a couple because they're working together. But it escalated and became something bigger than it was because there was either a lie told or some type of false promise were made to people that they were going to get your blessings and things like that if they did something to you. But it looks like they're not getting it, okay? There was some type of misconception that they had some type of victory over you. But whatever belongs to you is being protected. I'm telling you, <laughs> these people are watching you. Someone's wife, someone's baby mama, someone's somebody, a, fem a prominent feminine energy in a masculine's life is watching you. Either his mother uh, that does not know how to act her age because there's no way I'm going to be sitting as the mother of my son. There's no way I'm going to be sitting and watching a another person, another woman, right? To find reasons to discourage my son from being with that person or to just speak ill of that person or the same negative energy to that person that's just below me i'm not doing it i'm sorry that's too low vibrational but someone's mother is watching you she does know that you are a true empress indeed but her son is low vibrational she wants him to stay in that energy she said uh-uh if you put him in a high vibrational energy i cannot manipulate him anymore you know, I can't take advantage of him. He brings in a lot of resources for me. You know, I have a good time manipulating him. I'm telling you, her son is abundant. I have a good time manipulating him. He's always did what I told him to do, right? I'm the mean female in my son's life. Mothers, please be careful not to be this type of mother. You need to learn how to let the fish swim. Let the fish get out there into the, the water so it can swim. Okay, 
So this is this type of mother. She's sitting back and watching you. She knows you're someone highly intellectual. She may know that you are intuitively gifted and things of that nature. She does not want her son with you. She does not want her son with you. Okay, she's doing everything, manipulating him, manipulating people behind, around him. I'm telling you, she does not want this masculine with you. She's been watching you. And initially, she may have started some type of narrative, and the narrative wasn't sticking. So she got desperate and started telling lies and things of that nature. It's like everything these people came up with is not adding up. So now it's just malicious, malicious, maliciousness. I don't know why I struggle with saying that word, maliciousness. They're just evil now, conniving, doing anything they can to block this ma this masculine from coming towards you. It's absolutely sad and pathetic. But these people at this kind of vibration, this is all you can get. This is all you can expect from them. Because at this point, all they care about is money. They're being told to walk away. Then I mentioned that when, the, when we started, they're being told to walk away. But they're not going to. They're not going to walk away, right? They've been told to walk away, but they're refusing to walk away because there's some type of financial benefit in here for each person. The benefit off of this masculine being in a low vibrational energy. These people are trapped in some type of toxic dynamic. This masculine is trapped. He may be the head of a coven, something of that nature. There's something you don't know about this person, but they know a lot about you. A lot about you. They don't know you very well, but they think they do. Someone may think that you two have some type of twin flame union or something like that. Honey, look at here. I don't care who it is. Twin flame, soul twin, whatever twin. If they are karmic, you don't need to be with them. Okay? There is some type of competition for this masculine, honey. I'm telling you. So this could be his wife with this institution out here. Absolutely. This could be his wife, ex-wife. Whatever the situation is, okay? They are disappointed because there's some type of separation that's about to take place. It's like they've been trying to hide something, but it's exposed. There could be an institution behind this uh, little plot. There's, there is absolutely an institution behind this. This could be some type of religious institution, religious either in the upright or religious in the not so upright, right? Um, and they have ulterior motives for this. This is an institution that is financially focused, right? I'm telling you, they're doing something to block this new beginning. They don't want you and this masculine coming together. Absolutely not. They don't want you being seen as wish fulfillment to this person. They don't want you being seen as genuine. They want this person to think that you're toxic, right? You're something you're not supposed to be, but it's not going to go according to plan. However, this read, this story has been coming out a lot, but from different perspectives. But I'm still not getting that you as the Empress really give a damn about this connection. It said you either came into contact with someone who thinks they're your soulmate, they're your soul twin, but you don't really seem to care who they are to you on the, on the spiritual level. You're just like, um, okay, that's nice to know. Um, goodbye, right? So you may have women that are competing with you for the attention of this masculine, and you're just like, um, I didn't know we were in a competition. I don't compete for men, right? There's something, there's some type of mindset a lot of warlocks have. I don't like to use that word, but you know that is what they are. These warlocks, these masculines that are in their lower vibrational energy, they tend to have this uh, uh, mindset of entitlement. If you're entitled to women, like if they like you, they automatically assume that you like them back. Okay? And that's not how it works. Is that um, just because you like me does not mean you're my type. Just because you're good looking does not mean you're my type. Just because you have money does not mean you're my type, right? And sometimes they get acted, sometimes they tend to get agitated when you reject them. Or if you think too highly of yourself, they'll try to humble you. I've had a masculine do this to me. This It's not someone I was, someone I was dating. It was an older uh, figure. He was trying to humble me or something like that. And I just looked at him like, you are barking up the wrong tree. tree. I will humble you in the most tactful way that when I'm done with you, you'll never, ever Try me again. But these warlocks, the, the this is the mentality they have. They just think that women are at their disposal. I'm sorry, that's not how it's set up. 
If anything, you should be at my disposal. But, you know, being mature about a situation, men and women are equally valuable. But for these warlocks, uh-uh, honey. No, I'm more valuable than you, okay? You're not about to try me today, tomorrow, or any other day. But these people do not want you having a new beginning with this person. They don't want this person seeing you as wish fulfillment. They're discouraging this person from taking some type of, uh, you know, fresh risk to have a fresh start, to have a new beginning. They're discouraging him. They're blocking this. They're blocking this for you as well, not just him. This is this is a collaborative effort to block some type of offer from being given to a feminine energy or even to a masculine energy. They just do not want the two of you coming together, okay? So this wish fulfillment, if you're supposed to receive some type of a uh, financial payout, some type of abundance, some type of opportunity. It is being protected. Maybe this family wants to keep it, but they cannot keep it because it belongs to you. They know that you are aware as well, either about this connection or this abundance. They know that you know, and they know that you are aware that they are watching you and they are heartbroken because this person is still going to be moving on. And it's not per se to come to you, but I think this masculine, some of these masculines are just done. It's that, like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Jesse. I'm sick of this toxic relationship. He wants something different. He's over it. He's done. He's wishing Jesse well, right? He's wishing Jesse to heal. He said, man, I got to get away from you. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Don't you get tired? We've been doing this same rodeo for 20 years, Jesse. Grow up. Jesse don't want to grow up because it's too much work. Jesse is probably in her 30s, her 40s, her 50s, and she know by the time she's done doing the work, it'll be too late. She won't be with him. She seems to think he's the only masculine in the world to be with. He must have some type of good game in the bedroom because, honey, ain't no way. But this is upside down, so uh, I don't know how good it can be. But you know when you're karmic and someone has money, anything in the bedroom, you can make it feel good, right? So Jesse has a lot going on. Mariah has a lot going on mentally and emotionally. She's out of balance. But this masculine, she says, this is mine. You can't have him even though he's for the public. Because the rest of the women he's with are low vibrational, Jesse is A-OK -okay with that. But you, the star, see the Empress? Oh, he better not. He better not. Jesse is coming up with plans on how to interfere with this masculine connecting with you because he knows, she knows. Once that masculine connects with you, divine feminine, it is over. Once that feminine con uh, uh, connects with you, divine masculine, it is over over so they are going to do anything in their power to block your connection with this person right they don't want this person seeing you as you know someone that's thriving someone that's a good option to partner up with and i don't think you care because you're taking charge of your life and moving forward the universe is a guiding force for you you are a magician you're in charge of your own path you have all the necessary tools you need to be successful in life and you're not worried about what's going on in karmic veil. That's what the karmics to worry about. You'll worry more so about your abundance. Yes, this is of pentacles that you are supposed to be receiving. Okay? Someone here is absolutely not happy about you moving forward in life. They wanted to cause you a lot of distress. They want you living in a defensive energy, protective energy, feeling that you can't trust anyone, right? You're alone, you're abandoned. Yeah, absolutely. You're not alone or abandoned, but this is how they want you to feel. They want you to feel recluse, like you don't matter. You're irrelevant. You're not contributing nothing to the world, but you're about to absolutely connect with your soul tribe members. Uh-huh. Nah, nobody has time for this. Jesse, be gone. You you can take Mr. Karmic with you. Nobody's looking for Mr. Karmic. You were under some type of illusion that we were looking for Mr. Karmic. And this is a rude awakening for Jesse because she's finding out that you don't give a damn about Mr. Karmic. Like, you can have him. You two belong together, you believe? Good. Congratulations. Let's give a hand of applause for the Karmic sticking together. But what you will not be doing is defeating any of our star seeds. You're going to leave us alone. Okay? So, yes, absolutely, honey. These people have been collaborating. Just coming up with plan after plan. And source is just like, uh-uh. My star seed is protected. That indigo child that volunteered their time to come to your planet to 
help you ascend you will absolutely not be doing causing them any harm you are protected these people don't it's not only that they don't want you with this specific masculine they don't want you with your even your higher level soulmate they don't want you receiving an opportunity from this person they do not want you in a thriving environment basically right they don't want you thriving in life. They don't want you receiving equal give and take. They want you to feel in prison in your mind, in prison in life. They want you to feel confined. I'm telling you, they want you to feel confined. They want you to feel confined, disappointed, you know, sorrows, sorrows. Listen, our sorrows, sorrows car is out here. This is what these people want for you. It's not going to happen because the divine sees it all. They want you to be mentally conflicted causing you a lot of illusions and things of that nature, but you're staying calm and respectful of yourself. You're not reacting. You walked away from these people a long time ago. You absolutely walked away from them a long time ago. You're not even in this situation. You may not even be in the vicinity of these people, but they are so focused on you because this is what karmics do. Monkey see, monkey do. They may have someone watching you on social media. Absolutely. There is a feminine energy that's watching someone and reporting to the rest of the group. Like, girl, she's still posting. He's still posting. He ain't dead yet. She ain't dead yet. I don't think that magic is working. Honey, it's not going to work. But you can keep giving us views. You can keep commenting. You know, keep helping us grow. We appreciate it. Y'all know we don't discriminate against views here. We accept the views from the comics, and we definitely accept the views from the supporters. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And I'm sure whoever you're watching, they more than likely feel the same way. They are thankful, grateful, 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 grateful. They are grateful for those views. Someone is on an assignment, and they don't they don't even realize that they've started to like you. They say, wait, <laughs> This divine feminine is not that bad. This divine masculine is not that bad. Like, I, I'm digging them a little bit. Actually, I'm really digging them. You know, they're high vibrational. I like them. So, baby, they send an enemy in to watch you and report back to them. And the enemy has, you know, gotten on your side. Someone has switched cameras. I said, wait, hold up. Hold up. She's saying some good stuff. He's saying some good stuff. I like this person. You're helping this person heal now. They're sealing on the common waters, wanting to move away from these people. Like, I'm sick of I'm sick of this nonsense. I've been around y'all for 15, 20, 30 years, and I've never felt like I needed to heal. They didn't know I needed to heal, but I'm just watching this person, listening to this person, and now I want to heal. Mm. Divine feminine, divine masculine, you could have a platform just like mine, and you're helping people heal. Hallelujah, wonder most high do it. Yes, he will. Let's give the most high thanks for a second. Thank you, Source, for using us to heal karmics that are sent in our lives to destroy us. Thank you. That's all we can pray for. You still have your victory. You're still moving on. You know, whatever these people were doing, they're binded to it. They were trying to bind you to something, but you have a fresh start for yourself. And they are binded. These people don't know what to do now. They're confused. They say, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. What the heck do you mean you like this person? What the heck do you mean they're still posting? They're not there yet. The magic should have kicked in like two days ago. What do you mean they're still alive? And they're like, yeah, I don't think spell works on this person. I don't think dark magic works on this person. We need to give it up. And they know they need to give it up. But you know what, Collective? They're going to keep pushing because that's how karmics do karmics see what karmics do what karmics do honey there ain't nothing we can do about it i'm speaking to god on this truth there's nothing we can do to change these people's mindset the only way to defeat a karmic is to just you know use uh cut them out ignore them don't pay them no mind right it's kind of like with greedy people the only way you can hurt a greedy person is by taking all of their money their resources okay Sources stepping in to take care of some type of crazy person in here. They're like, wait, hold up. We don't told you. We don't told you too many times. If it's more than one time, it's too many times. We don't told you too many times to leave this star C alone, to leave this empress alone, and you're not listening. So here it is. 
Someone is being forced to walk away. Whatever magic they were trying to send you is not working. You know, I think these people were trying to send you some type of energy during the moon cycle because you know that's when these people get together during the full moon cycle and things of that nature. And, you know, it didn't go according to plan. It didn't go according to plan. Whatever energy they were trying to send you, they are the ones now struggling with this. Someone may be sick. Someone may be having some type of surgery, going to the hospital, maybe bedridden, something of that nature. But whatever magic these people were doing is not working. It is not working. They definitely sent someone in to come and gaslight you, make you think that you were friends, right? They were sent to watch you. Some of you could have a masculine energy in your life that's watching you for these people and reporting back to them. Say, how is she doing? How is he doing? Did he fail yet? Did he get fired yet? Did she get fired yet? Is her business shut down yet? Is his business shut down? And it's like, uh, no, they're still moving forward. What? We sent a whole bunch of energy, dark energy to them last night. What do you mean they're moving forward? Well, yes, I don't know what to tell you. There's something about this one. I don't get it. We did the same thing to uh, Aaliyah, you know, two years ago, and she was out cold. But this one, we've been sending energy and energy, all kinds of spell work. Nothing is sticking. Like it lasts for maybe 30 minutes, and then they're back to their old selves. I don't know what to tell you. We need to get this up. But these karmics are going to keep going, honey. This may have to do with a good ten of pentacles, people. Okay, for some of you, they don't want you receiving these opportunities, whatever it is that you have going on. Oh, I can put the cards here so you all can see. I am looking on the screen. Awesome. They may, you know, this may have to do with a ten of pentacles and things of that nature, but absolutely, honey, whatever is yours is going to be yours. Okay, no one, no one can take this away from you. Your wish fulfillment, it will come in. Maybe not from this masculine, thank goodness. Because whoever that karmic is, that karmic masculine is, mm -mm, that is not the bee's knees. No, someone has a lot of healing to do, but they don't want to do it. They're too scared to fist. I'm telling you the God's honest truth, and they know you know the truth too. These people know that you know that they've been sending you energy, and it's not working. The fact that they know that you are aware is embarrassing for them. They're ashamed. They're not ashamed of what they're doing to you. They're ashamed that you know what they're doing and it's not working. Some of them feel like you're probably sitting back and laughing at them. Collective, are you laughing at these people? Don't be out here laughing at the karmics. They're putting in a lot of effort. We give karmics an A for effort on this platform. A for effort. Whatever else that did not go according to plan, we disregard. All that matters is that they got an A. An A in what? An A for effort. And we'll leave it at that. But someone knows that you know the truth. They know you're watching them. They know you are the truth. They're reporting back to the group. They're telling them, hey, listen here. This person is an absolute true higher fence. This person is an... This is a, this is a true higher fence. Why the heck do you all have been watching a higher fence? And they're like, what? So they really are a higher fence? Yes, mother effer. That's what she's telling them. Or he's telling them. This is a true uh, 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 um, a higher fence. Empress. The word empress was about to come out. They know now. And they're telling these people, you need to stay back. Hold back. But as I said, these karmics don't be listening. They're determined, determined to do what they want to do. Anyways, honey, you are going to have your wish fulfillment. You are being told to protect yourself from these people. Keep your distance from them as far as possible, okay? You and your family are about to be living in abundance, things of that nature, right? There is a big pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, a big pot of joy and happiness and love for you all at the end of the rainbow. You all could be changing your living situation coming up very soon, okay? There's going to be some type of change you all are going through as a family, whether it's you, your husband, and your children, you and your children, you and your husband, whatever it is, 
there is about to be an upgrade, right? So whatever belongs to you is being protected. Someone is being advised to protect their finances as well because you could have some type of gold digger around you. Anyways, you're showing up as the Empress and Page of Swords, which means that you are extremely abundant, loyal, very intellectual, right? And someone may have said that you were dumb. Someone may have said that you were stealing ideas from them. You're, you're looking at, excuse me, I am appalled at these accusations. What is wrong with you? I am an empress. I don't have to steal from anyone. That is you, collective, man or woman. Okay, because you know energy is fluid in tarot. But you are appalled at the very notion that someone would think that you would steal from them. You don't have to steal. You're naturally abundant. The universe simply gives you what you need when you ask for it. So, oh, you want that? You can have it. What took you so long to ask? Ask a little sooner next time. Don't be holding back on us. Don't be holding back on us. Like, we are here to work with you. You're willing to do the work, so we love you, okay? You are absolutely not heartbroken on institutions. Many intention, intentions was to break your heart about some type of connection. They wanted you to see that your divine, your divine masculine had ended up with someone else. And you're just like, well, I don't really give two crap about who this person ends up with. I don't even know this person, right? Because some of you, you don't know this masculine. You probably met them once before you two had a conversation. Someone got jealous and said, oh, I think that's his divine masculine. He thinks he thinks he's her. He's uh she's his divine uh feminine. He may want to be with her. Let's do let's make sure we come together and make sure that this doesn't happen. And then they started coming for you and coming for you and coming for you. And you're just like, now what the heck is going on here? I know I didn't do nothing to anyone. I know I didn't I didn't steal from no one, I didn't take from no one, I didn't curse nobody out. Why are people coming for me? But it's because these people are jealous. They are jealous. They know this person secretly wants to manifest some type of, I'm telling you, they want, he wants to manifest some type of new beginning with you, a genuine friendship. You and this person had a genuine connection and he's never had this with anyone else. So they are jealous about that. Someone knows this masculine has genuine feelings for you. And for those of you where this is a lead, leader of a cult, these women don't know what to do with themselves. They say, what? There's like 20 of us. You're trying to tell us like none of us are good enough for you. It's like, no, you're all low vibrational. You do whatever I want you to do. You don't have any boundaries. I sleep with you tonight, sleep with her tomorrow, sleep with her the day after that. I tell her, go here, she goes. I tell her, do that, she does it. You know, take your clothes off and she does it. You know, don't shower today, she doesn't shower. Like, what in the heck? Someone is going through some type of awakening, but they think that they're going to be they're going to be able to come in and partner up with you. And their source is that, mm, I don't think so. <laughs> There's a higher level soul maybe being given to this person. We're glad you want to heal and you're taking the necessary steps to heal, but you will not be having a brand new passionate beginning with our Empress or our Star Seed. Okay, not in this lifetime. Not in this lifetime. I'm telling you, these people are fighting. The karmics are fighting. Should I make that the title of the video? <laughs> I don't think I can because I think I just had a video where I named, named it like the karmics are still fighting or the karmics are fighting again or something like that. Uh, something like that. But honey, these people know they cannot break your heart. Even if this person gets married to someone else, partners up with someone else, you don't care. You're too busy educating yourself. You're too busy elevating in life, improving your living situations, acquiring higher knowledge healing staying healed making genuine connections you're too mature for the bs and uh, the whole way through you're still genuine and they don't understand that's why that person is hooked on you is because of your genuine nature and that is exactly another reason why the universe s with you you are a queen of cups absolutely a queen of cups okay you're about to have a divine a higher level soulmate in your life talking about slow down i just want to get to know you empress right and you two are going to be planting seeds together you know nurturing a new reality together absolutely beautiful just beautiful 
So I wouldn't even lose sleep over these people. Let them do what they want to do. You got better things? Yes, manifesting a new beginning. You are manifesting a new beginning. Someone wants to interfere with your forward movement. They don't want you being brave, taking charge of life. They want you in some type of feeble energy, like, oh, I need help. I need my divine masculine to come in. I need my karmic twin flame to come in and save me. And you're out here like a bull. You're like, uh-uh, stay over there. I don't care if I have $2 in my bank account, stay over there. I got it from here. The source is going to provide for me and take care of me. You don't got nothing that I want. Right? Yeah, it's an like emperor in the reverse too. Someone went here wire. I don't know what it is, and I said this before, but the emperors in our society today, oh, they need discipline. They need help. They need soaps in their mouths. They need like a goose whooping. I don't know if they missed a few whoopings when they were growing up, but these masculines nowadays, some of them, oh my Lord, they are a piece of work. They are the ones tearing down our communities, misleading women, treating women like tools and objects and things like that instead of being the leaders in the communities that we need them to be. But there is absolutely an emperor in here that sees you as wish fulfillment as well, but you will not be having a brand new passionate beginning with this person. They are not able to give you an offer. Absolutely not because this person is not balanced. He is not balanced. He's shaky, shaky in the mental. He's shaky, shaky in the heart. He's shaky, shaky in morals. In spirit, he's shaky, shaky, shaky. You do not have a new beginning with this person. They cannot give you an offer because they have ulterior motives. This person is extremely greedy. They may see you as some type of cash cushion or something, like a money maker. Someone wants to come in and use you as a money maker because they know you are either really gifted, talented, someone that's business minded, whatever it is. That's how this emperor sees you, as money. Money, 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 money. Someone thought they found their money making machine, but they can't come around you. You cannot be with this person. Someone is very barbaric, is what I just heard. He treats women like objects, tools. Yeah, this is a thief. This is a thief. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is a thief. This is someone rebellious in the worst way possible. This is someone that'll come in your life and ruin it. Turn it upside down. And God forbid if his bedroom game is on point, you are effed up. Because some women don't know how to let that go. Once a man put it down on them, they think, oh, can't nobody else have him. I don't care if he sleeps with Keisha, but he smiles. What? Make it make sense. He can Keisha can have him on Tuesday, but he's still yours? Make it make sense. Because the logic is not logic in for the rest of us. We're missing out on something here, right? This emperor may have some type of legal issues coming in. This is someone that's in a marriage as well. It's uh, ticking, but he don't care about that. He's karmic. What's marriage anyways? It ain't nothing but like a business transaction to him. He said, yeah, 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 I just married her to shut her up. I know what I want. I want what I want. He's coming in to gas like you. Coming in to gas like you. And he's being told to stay the heck away from me because this is not going to work. It's not going to work. You're too far advanced for this nonsense. Listen, this... Knight of Cups keeps staying at the bottom. This person has no good intentions for you. This is someone, when you see them, you'll assume that they're mature. They're someone of high moral character. They are absolutely not. This is a disappointment. If there was a symbol or a sign or an image for disappointment, this is it. Disappointment personified. If you could personify disappointment, this is it. This person has poor moral judgment. This is someone that's stuck in some type of old paradigm. He was a big shot when he was a younger kid. Maybe when he was younger, he was a big shot. Maybe he was good looking. Um, but he's gotten a little bit older. And things are not what they used to be. Things are changing a little bit too fast for him. So he has a group of people that he's able to control. And he's very strict with them. He tells them, move, they move. He's like, these people are pimp. Even if he's not, you know, involved with them, not pimping them out, but in, a mind, in his mind, he's their pimp. He tells them what to do. Move here. They move there. 
go here, they go there, do this, call this person, sit down, go, come. He said, excuse me, am I a puppet? See, someone like me, I could not survive with someone like this because my mouth, my mouth is too disrespectful. I be asking too many questions, F around and get popped in my mouth. Next thing I know it, he's on the floor, head been busted with a pot. I don't know, a frying pan is upside his head or something. Do you know, <clears throat> honey, I can't, I will not. Again, you are a queen of cups and this person loves your energy but they're being forced to stay away from you. Someone knows you're extremely abundant and supported by the universe, right? Yeah, I'm telling you, they know you are abundant. Someone may know you have money coming towards you. You have money attached to you or you're headed for success. You may have started some type of business that's going to be successful, it's already taken up, and they all know. So now somebody wants to come in and say, hey, remember we had a genuine friendship. I really want to heal things with you. And you are looking at them like, who are you? <laughs> What's your name again? I'm so sorry. I'm usually good with names and faces, but I just cannot seem to place yours. Madness. And this car keeps coming down at the bottom. These people are fighting. The karmics are fighting in karmic veil. They thought you were going to be the one, you know, out here confused, being neglected, depressed, not knowing which way to turn, all kinds of stuff. So these people, part, I can hear you, moon magic. They, some of these people did some type of moon ritual, and it didn't go according to plan. There was some type of momentary victory for them, and then it all went down. London Bridge went crashing down. And it went from uh, happy sunshine days to ring around the roses, pocket full of posies, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. And they are falling, honey. Help, the karmics have fallen and they can't get up. How will they ever get up? They will not. They have to eat their humble pie. Absolutely, absolutely. Someone thought they were gonna go for it. Say, hey, I think I can defeat her. I think I can defeat him. I have the perfect recipe. I figured it out. I'm gonna go for it. And so I said, I wish you would. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for you to take that, make that move. And they took the move and they were met with the truth. They said, oh. I'm so sorry, honey. I thought, I think I woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. But you know what? I'm going to go back to sleep. Hopefully, I wake up on the right side of the bed so I know not to try you again. That order. They tried to steal from you. You're a queen of swords. Are you stupid? You got to be stupid to steal from a queen of swords. These are people highly intellectual. They don't miss a beat. You may think they missed a beat. These are the people when you go to and tell them a lie, they'll just look at you. They won't say anything. They have that natural resting beat face. You know, the B-I-T-C-H face. They have that naturally. They'll just look at you like, oh, okay. They won't confront you. They won't have any arguments with you because they already know what they know. This person could have been working with another queen of swords as well to interfere with some type of connection, and they're both going through an ending. I'm telling you, source is not playing with these people. It's like, I had enough of you, karmics. I get it. You want to be low vibrational in this lifetime, but we told you to stop. It's over. It's done with. Let it go. And they're learning a hard lesson. A hard lesson. They don't understand how you heal from this betrayal. They said, honey, you can definitely not be one of us from this planet because ain't no way. It ain't no way you survive everything we threw at you and you had the audacity to stay genuine and take steps and actions to heal. What is, what are you? My honey, people are at a loss for words for what you are, who you are. They're trying to figure out what God exactly is it that you serve or work with. They're wondering if you work with an entity. You don't need to work with an entity when you are an empress in the upright. 
This energy does not show up in readings accidentally. They know you are highly protected from all evils, right? Someone cannot make no marriage proposal to you because they're not you. You're not looking for a marriage proposal from this person. So all the actions these people have been taking has been for nothing. They said, no, they cannot be together. And you, the empress, you're sitting back like, um, excuse me. I never said I wanted to be with this person. Um, who is this again? What's his name? I didn't say I wanted to be with him. Did anyone ask me if I wanted to be with this person? I, I think I get a say in who I want to be with, correct? But unfortunately, people in these groups, they don't have enough self-esteem to think, I don't want to be with that person. They've been in control for so long because that's what these types of men do. They do magic to control these women. They may not be good looking, but the magic has these women under some type of delusion that they are the best thing in the world. They're the bee's knees. And honey, when that magic wears up, ooh, they feel disgusted with themselves. You want to tell me I've been sleeping with a tree monster all these years? I've been sleeping with a, chica, a, 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 a chibacabra, whatever they call them. Dang, this is what you look like? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I told you I had a story about how I went to work one day and this man had done some type of beauty magic, beauty spell, so I could see him in a good light. He wanted me to see him as good looking. Baby, this man, this man was bald-headed with a pot belly. Hmm. He had like a rugged character. Like when I saw this man, the heaviness that follow him his energy was so heavy so heavy i don't know how else to explain it but that it was heavy okay this man had done a lot in his life but honey i knew who this man looked what he looked like he was bald-headed i'm not the one to call people ugly and whatnot beauty is in the eye of the beholder but i am not the beholder of this person okay so i'm going to put it that way so, you know, I see this man every day for months and I've gotten accustomed to, you know, who he is. I've already studied him going to this facility because I was working there. I'm kind of aware of all the energies around me by this time. And I go to work one day and I see this man, he's in the basement. I went there to get some batteries or something of that nature. I see this brother down there and he, Today, the brother has hair. He didn't have no hair yesterday. But he has hair. His skin is like a perfect black skin, brown skin, whatever you want to call it. I don't discriminate in brown or blackness, honey. It's beautiful either way. But today, he has hair. He's all muscular and built. Skin is perfectly glistening. I said, hold up. It, this man is good looking today. Honey, when I said my ancestors slapped me out of that spell, I said, I beg, come out of it. And then I woke up, I said, oh, I'm in the wrong facility. I went to the wrong direction. I mean, I knew when I entered that building, there was lessons for me to learn. I was there for a reason. But that very day is when i realized who oh, honey you have a long journey ahead of you in this building good luck <laughs> and i wasn't lying honey when i said i went through it in that building i just said oh lord they're all into the voodoo he do she do co do i will not be participating but what i will do is stay cordial with each and every one of you okay they were trying to bind me to them honey i'm a free being and they're buying it I must be, this must be a rule awakening. I think some of you watch me. Some of those people from that facility and company watch me. Yes, I knew you all was into, into the voodoo, he do, she do, co do. I knew, I knew. Honey, I learned to play my role. Uh-huh. <laughs> I knew. <laughs> he said, well, call me a heifer. <laughs> so, well, I'm sick and tired of this bitch. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I knew, honey, everything you all were plotting, I knew.
My ancestors said, just bear with us. We'll get you out of here. I said, please do. Hurry up, because I'm done. It's cold, honey, this coat is not about to unalive me off my lights. My light is too beautiful to be off <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh, Lord. That was a rude awakening for me in that day. Because I'm someone that tries to see the best in everyone. You know, it's not that I have a hard time seeing the truth about people. I see the truth at hello. But I try to see the best in everyone, you know? Try to bring that out of people. But honey, after that day, I said, oh, absolutely not. You've been here for 10 years. You've been here for 19 years. You've been here for 22 years. You've been here for 34 years. You've been here for 40 years. All of you are in this together. So there is absolutely nothing that I'm saying to you that I want, don't want you to know. Whatever I don't need you to know, I'm not going to tell you. Okay? So anything they heard is something that I wanted them to hear. Because if I knew if I tell one, I knew exactly who to tell what I needed to tell. Because as soon as you told her something, she went and took it to the whole building. And sometimes I would just make up stuff and I'd say, oh, yep. The next day I would come back and someone would be saying that. i say, yep, I knew it. Yep, honey. Ooh, baby. This man is not showing up in anything positive. A brother is tra trapped. He's stuck in some type of unhappy union. Possibly the D D V in this woman. This is someone karmic. This is not someone that operates from his healthy, high vibrational masculine side. This is someone that's long gone. And he's burdened. Burden of finances. This person loves a lot of money. He could have been paying for a lot of magic behind the scenes or just something behind the scenes he should not have paid for. Someone went all out. Like they used their last bit of money to pay for something to be done to someone. He was trying to trap a queen of wands. Trying to steal from a queen of wands, but he could not. And darling, you're showing up here in a lot of energies and things like that. Mm. Like, you know what energy to take on for what situation you might wish on. You're like, oh, I bet you want to fight today, mm -hmm. Queen of Wands. Oh, you feel like a friend today, Queen of Cups. Mm. You don't care. You say, you just say the word and I'm there. You, the collective, you're that, you're that Whitney Houston song. I'm every woman, it's all in me. Anything you want, my baby, I do it naturally. Oh, oh, yeah. Every bit. Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, <laughs> Queen of Pentacles, Empress. And you said, I'm here. Queen of Swords, I'm here, honey. I'm all of it. You said, pick a mold. <laughs> pick a mold. Pick a mold. Okay. Someone is absolutely stuck in some type of unhappy marriage. Marriage. This king of, not king, this emperor is working with some low vibrational queen of wands is what I'm hearing. These two have been working together for decades, either two decades or just many, many years. This is his partner in crime. People may not know that these two may take vacations together, go to some type of outing together. They've been trapped with one another for years, okay? But, you know, <laughs> they may have successfully stolen something from someone but regardless of what they stole, you're still moving forward. Like there's better for you. There's better ahead of you. You're coming out of some type of stagnation period, some type of period where you've been feeling stuck and things like that and your pathway is clear. You're moving forward. You have the green light, yellow light, bright light to move ahead. You have the support of the universe. They're telling you to go for it. Absolutely go for it. Whatever it is you want to do, whatever action you are wanting to take, yeah, they're telling you to go for it. Take action. They're supporting you. They are supporting you. Someone like now, now knows that whatever emotion someone had for you was genuine, so they may be choosing to advocate now. They say, oh, I know in the past I was saying I didn't want these two together, but I really do think they do belong together. It seems like they make each other happy, even though they're from a distance. They've never been together, but they seem to be happy. 
I see them being happy if they come together. Like, mm, ma'am, sir, make up your mind. All this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We are tired. Okay? We are tired. And the fact that she wants to... Honey, this is what's at the bottom. The fact that she now wants to support this union huh, is causing chaos. I beg. It's Wahala everywhere. Wahala today. Wahala tomorrow. Wahala the day after. It's Wahala day and night 24-7 for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And everything else in between is Wahala. Wahala is drama. Fighting. Restlessness. This, this karmic group, they don't want peace. They want problems always. And so does your ancestors. And they bring it. We're ready. You know, this card keeps showing up at the freaking bottom. They're five of one. These people are really fighting amongst themselves about you. They are really fighting amongst themselves. They try to bring you conflict. They celebrated a little too early. And now they're fighting again amongst one another. What do you do? What shall we do today? The karmics don't know. They're too busy fighting. You know that, was it Azealia Banks? The girls are fighting. <laughs> it's the karmics are fighting. <laughs> is it, what in the world is wrong with these people? What in the world? I'm telling you, whatever you are going for, you're going to be successful. Plant whatever new seeds you want to plant. You have beautiful opportunities coming in, beautiful blessings from the Most High, right? You overcame a lot of betrayal. You're watching these people. You're standing your ground. You're still taking charge of your life after a very heavy betrayal, and you're still receiving what's yours. And it's pissing them off. They can't see straight. Like, oh, I'm sick of this person. I don't want to see or hear them anymore. Well, honey, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe die or something, because... Uh, we'll be here when you wake up tomorrow. We don't know what to tell you. Maybe go live in a cave or something. Go move in the jungle or something so you won't have to see here or nothing us. But at the end of the day, we will be here. When you come back from that jungle because you couldn't stand the jungle, you couldn't handle the jungle, you came after a beast and you didn't realize the beast was in its natural habitat. You were out of your elements. <laughs> because you know why, collective? Everywhere a star seagull is theirs on this planet. The universe is theirs. The earth is theirs. Yeah, they wanted to bring you endings, but no. You're going through a rebirth. They thought they were going to unalive you off your life, off your future, off your hope of your joy, of love, nothing. The universe said absolutely not. Your ancestors stepped in and said, mm, we got something to say about this here. We are sick of you people. We are sick. I'm telling you, your privileged energy, your <laughs> privileged lady, privileged gentleman, okay? About to be living a good, good life. No longer having to manage a budget. You know, as tightly as you used to, honey. I, ooh, I cannot be telling you all about my situation. But you all are about to be living a good. Sometimes what I was going to say is that sometimes God will put you in a tight position so that you can learn how to budget. And that's something I had to learn too. And this is why I'm saying it. Right? I had to get to a point where I needed to learn how to budget, how to be mindful with how I was using the resources that I had available to me because we never know what's going to happen. So I'm very thankful that my ancestors put me in a particular situation where I had to learn how to manage my money, manage my resources, not misuse them, use them wisely. Now, instead of like going out and buying crystals and, you know, pyramids and things, I'm like, well, you know, I might need this a little later. Let me put this back. Let me make sure I pay this bill. Let me make sure I do this. I don't have money for this bill this week, so I'm going to pay it next week. Something like that, right? So God will put us in these types of situations so that we can learn how to budget. 
how to manage money, how to be responsible, right? Because just because we're naturally abundant does not mean that we're supposed to be loose and careless with the resources that the universe blesses us with, okay? So you all may have been going through some type of tumultuous time, right, um, for a bit there, but you're coming out of it, right? A decision has been made to give you what's yours. And you're going to be living abundantly. It's going to be flourishing. You may find love, things of that nature. Like, everything is about to be a okay. I'm so happy for you, collective. This is beautiful energy. Okay, beautiful energy. The universe is protecting you from your enemies. Absolutely protecting you from your enemies. They're like, nah, you're not stealing from her. You're not stealing from him. We, I know you thought you were going to, but that was us letting you feel that way. That was us making you believe that you had a chance to steal from this person, but no, okay? You're not interfering with your forward movement. You're not interfering with your family. Someone in this crazy family, they still want to steal from you. They still want to undercut you, defeat you, but they cannot right you are the queen of swords you have your a, a sword pulled out at these people and you are absolutely taking action to go for what is yours absolutely the universe is going to guide someone here to take action at the right time like they're, they're going to tell you to go somewhere and you'll know exactly when and where to go some type of and even when you're going there you won't know where you're going but you're going to end up somewhere that you're supposed to be at the right time that's how the universe works and they're not going to tell you in like enough time so that you end up telling someone. They're going to do it in a way where you won't even have time to tell anyone about it because they don't want any type of interference. Okay? Man, this is beautiful. I love this reading. Once again, the karmics are defeated. Once again, the karmics are fighting. It's that, oh my gosh, I'm so sick and tired of this the star sea. Star see this, star see that. I'm so sick and tired. Is it the star see what's not bothering you? You couldn't stand the heat. You tried to stay in the kitchen. You need to get out of the kitchen. But you're trying to steal recipes. And even if you steal the recipe, you still won't know how to cook. You won't know what you're making. Maybe you probably came to read. Incompetence, illiterate, maybe in what you're trying to steal it's not that you're incompetent in life or illiterate in life it's what you're trying to steal that you don't understand this 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 star see you're trying to steal from who have their recipe ready in a whole different language so you go in and put all of this effort to steal from them just so that you don't even know the language that they wrote their recipe in you can't find anyone to translate it for you so you did all of that work for no reason okay Source, what is your advice to us today? Thank you. We have 20. Thank you, Source, for this message. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Ancestors, for your guidance and protection and your favor on our lives. Again, we are returning to Source. We're returning to sender or negative energy and intent being sent to us immediately and permanently. We do not give anyone permission to be in our energy without our consent anything the enemy took from us whether it's energy resources blessings we are calling it back we're taking it back okay let it all be returned to us 10 times full so we have the number 20 which is two it said you relate to others on an almost cosmic level you are dedicated to building harmonious relationships of all kinds you have the ability to persuade others to your point of view by using gentle means i am harmonious i feel like that's talking about me and i hope it's talking about a lot of you as well you never really have to use aggression to get people to see things your way i use the gentle approach you know it could be i could very much be someone that's you know i could choose to be aggressive i mean i am like 5 11 I would, I would choose to be uh, 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 aggressive, but if you meet me, I'm like a gentle giant. I choose to be kind to people because I know uh, all of us, we're dealing with something. Like we're all dealing with different things behind closed doors. So that's why I usually try to be kind and gentle with people 
Like, I will go out of my way to be kind to you. I'm not being nice. I'm being kind. Um, and if you take advantage of it or you don't appreciate it, then you'll find you'll you'll come to find out or see another side of me. Um, but I'm also slow to show in this side. I'm more than likely to like just cut you off instead of going, you know, haywire on you. But you know, it, it's it's it, it's priceless. It does not cost money to be kind and gentle with people. You don't have to be loud and aggressive, right? You don't have to even pretend this kind of energy. It's hard to pretend to be gentle and kind and nurturing, but that's really all you need to do sometimes with people. We all have demons we're dealing with. Even I myself have demons I'm dealing with. Um, but I deal with those things personally and behind closed doors. I try not to take those out on people. Um, so hopefully we can all get to a point someday in life where we will be a little bit more gentle um, to one another. Um, be kind. Now, we don't want to be out here saying be, be kind. I'm like Ellen DeGeneres saying be kind, but being a, a special character behind the scenes. But if you're going to do something for people, if you want people gen, gen, uh, genuinely connecting uh, and healing and things like that, I encourage you to use gentleness. Be gentle with people. That we all have humor. When you come to my platform some days, you'll notice I'm a little bit, ah! And some days I can be a little bit lethal with my mouth, but it's because of the energy that I'm getting. And then most days you'll just see that I'm going to just chill and just lively, but I don't have any ill intent. So just please remember to be kind to people at the end of the day. That's really all it is. But anyways, thank you for watching. Stay blessed and goodbye for now, loves.